This is the third of three videos I'm shooting on the MBE ECUs that I'm selling. I ran them in my Noble M400. Uh, geez, it's been five or six years now since I've run these things. Uh, I switched to a different brand of ECU and these have been sitting in a box in the garage ever since. And it's time to get them to somebody who can use them. I'm going to jiggle the camera around a little bit and give you a close-up of the three of them. Uh, the first video I made was on GTRS. Uh, and then the second video I made was original JDS. Uh, that is the one that came with my car. And this third video, this guy doesn't have any cute stickers on it, but it is uh, serial number 32767. Um, as with the other two videos, I am running them with a bench harness. This is most of a Noble M400 engine harness uh, without the sensors on it. Uh, and here's the serial cable, and as is, was the case for the other two videos, uh, I'm powering the MBE with a bench power supply. So now the camera goes back in the tripod, and I'm going to fire up Easy Map and show you what this thing does. This is Easy Map 5.0, uh, which immediately connects to the ECU, doesn't complain. Camera jiggling coming up so that I can get you closer to the status bar at the top of Easy Map and show you that indeed we have ECU number 975D. Oh, this is a DB360. This isn't a, a 392. Interesting. Uh, don't know what that means. I'm not an MBE expert. Somebody will know what that means. Pull back and go into the tripod. And let's look at some data tables so I can show you that uh, this MBE is alive. Uh, data, get data. See, I guess the last thing I looked at in the previous video was primary ignition map, TPS versus speed. Uh, we want to pull this data from the ECU through COM3, so double click that. Getting data. And here is our ignition table. More camera jiggling coming up. So that I can get this thing close enough. I don't monetize my videos, so YouTube gives me like really horrible video characteristics. Um, I guess I should try to earn some money for them. So anyway, uh, here are the, f the 15 sites that the MBE ECU lets you uh, program. Uh, each site has a row of values with the columns being RPM uh, and the graph here shows you uh, visually the data in the highlighted row. So this is site 0, site 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and etc. And you see the red line on the graph moving around indicating what the tuner wanted the timing to be uh, on this particular noble. Um, so anyway, that data transfer was successful. Let me show you another table. I don't want you to think I'm making this up. Let's see, data, let's pick another one. I think I looked at fuel in an earlier video. Uh, Throttle-based system. You guys can't read that on the video, I'm sure. Uh, so here's primary 3D fuel map, TPS versus speed. I'll double-click that to select it. And I want to get it from the ECU device on COM3 because that's what I'm here to show you. Double-click. Getting the data. And again, bring the camera closer to my display so that you can actually see something. Same story, uh, 15, 16 sites. And as I step through the sites, you can see uh, the red line move indicating that uh, as we go up in boost, uh, there's more and more and more fuel being 
added. Uh, here's site 15. Uh, this particular ECU uh, has uh, max fueling time, it looks like 17 milliseconds in the 4750, 5200, and 5800 bins uh, at max boost. So the details aren't important. Uh, what is important is that this MBE is alive. In fact, all three of these are alive. Um, I have a fourth one over here that has the word brick on it because uh, it needs the operating system reflashed and I don't have that file. Um, EasyMap has the capability to um, redo the operating system uh, but again I don't have the file for the 975D so I think electronically there's nothing wrong with that MBE but if you were to buy it you would have to have the file or know somebody with the file to uh, restore the operating system. So there you go. I've got three that work and one that doesn't. Uh, you can find information on these and uh, other noble parts I have for sale on my website noblecars.org.